Hi friends, here is a very very easy problem. n square equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What is n? See, the number is very similar, right? It's kind of palindrome, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Right? There's a simple trick when numbers like 11, 121, they are multiplied. They, they give this kind of palindromes. For example, 11 into 11 is 1 to 1. 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1 is 1 to 3 to 1. Why this happens? For example, let's say this 1, 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1, 1. How do we do? We write 1 into 1, 1. We write 4 times 1, 1, 1, 1. And then we start adding, right? Here 1, here 1 plus 1, 2, here 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. Here 4 times, again 3 times. Again, two times, again, one time. So, the multiples of all ones, or sorry, the square of all ones, it always follow this format. What does that mean? And when there are four ones, then it will go till four and it will come back to one. Similarly, if n square is this number, then what does that mean? n is number of ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight ones. It will go till eight, eight ones. And then it will come back to 1. Right. So that means n equals simply 8 ones. You can just see it. 121. One, this is going till 2. That means 2 ones. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. It is going till 3. That means it is 3 ones. Likewise, it is going till 8. Means 8 ones. That is a simple, this is a simple trick, simple problem. Here there is another problem which is pretty straightforward. But it is verbose, like general cat problems. For two positive integers, a and b, define the function h of a comma b as the greatest common factor of a comma b. Let a be set of n positive integers. g of a is the gc of, of elements of set a is completed repeatedly using by repeatedly using the function h. The minimum number of times h is required to use to be used to compute this g. G is the final GCF of this set. This let's say, let us take a simple case that the set has five elements. What he is saying is he will compute the GCD of GCF of first these two and then whatever that has come, let us let them be result one. Then result one and a three, then whatever that result out of this, that is result two, result two and a four, then whatever that result comes, that result three, result three and a five. That's what he does. So basically, in the, each step, he is eliminating, eliminating one, 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 one h. For example, a one and a two. Then he will compute and get a result. And result and a three will get a result too. Likewise. So when there are five elements, how many iterations did we need? We we wanted to eliminate one at a time, and we got we had to do four iterations. Right? A one, a two. Then result of this and a three. Then result of this and a four. Then result of this and a pi. Right. Similarly, if there are n elements, right, number of times there are n elements, how many times we have to use? It is number number minus one, n minus one. Right, guys. So n positive integers are there. That means we have to do this operation n minus one times. Right. When there are five integers, we did it four times. When there are n integers, we have to do n minus one times. It is a pretty straightforward problem, just that it looks very verbose. You just need to ignore all that unnecessary information. Right, guys?